Hey guys, Steve Blair. Today we got a game in the Harbin. Tier 7 Asian Cruiser. Check out the Shao Quan guy. Now, initially I didn't even put this torpedo perk in slot 4 there, but uh, after playing the ship, especially this Tier 7 Harbin, uh, the torpedoes are a big part of the attack here, and we're going to see that in this game. From what I hear, uh, the Tier 8 is going to be even more potentially deadly with the torpedoes. So I'd go ahead and uh, go ahead and boost that part of the build. Um, we got to make something clear about this game. All right, this is a very high scoring game. This is a 4,000 point game. If we win, uh, it's going to demonstrate the power of this fully armed and operational battle station, the Harbin. An extremely potent ship. All right, if you're a cruiser player, you like cruisers, these Asian cruisers are worth checking out. I've played the Harbin mostly because uh, I got all the <laughs> ships for free uh, in early access or whatever you want to call them. And I just typically like to play Tier 7s, probably my favorite tier to play. So I've been playing a lot of the Harbin, trying to get ready for the Tier 8. Looking forward to that. Don't know what it's called. We'll find out tomorrow in the patch notes or whenever that comes out. Uh, but anyway, if you're, if you're into cruisers, pursue the line. Uh, it's not the easiest line, okay? It's paper, you get shot, you die. Uh, but the potential for damage is significant. All right. Now, if you're not um, into cruisers, go ahead and shoot these things. Get rid of them. They will cause you problems. All right, so we'll try and focus on the ship aspect and the gameplay aspect early. Of course, judging by the title of the video, you're going to be like, what's going on with this? It's a will to rebuild rant, okay? Uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. They said they were going to fix this will to rebuild. The developers themselves acknowledge that the perk is horseshit. Uh, every time I <laughs> broach the subject with the players... Well, uh, pushback. Come on now. The cruisers can do this and the destroyers can do that. Uh, big fucking deal, all right? The, the classes are balanced, all right? And according to the stats, I'm a battleship man. I've played more battleship games than any other class. Uh, so I don't want to hear, oh, I don't play battleships. That's horseshit as well. Anyone who's thought about it or who's being honest acknowledges that Will to Rebuild is busted, uh, including the developers. Maybe not Bill, the guy who came up with the idea uh, and many other horse uh, shit ideas in this game. Bad developer, not my biggest... Uh, <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of him, neither are most of the uh, viewers of this channel. Nevertheless, Will to Rebuild should just be straight up removed until if they determine they can fix it later on, cool, uh, but get rid of it. So anyway, we'll discuss that as uh, we progress here. Now Blue jumps off to a quick lead over there, grabs A... We're going to try and do what we can do over here. Now, we got one destroyer per side. All right, now that's, of course, very valuable, especially in a domination mode game where the caps need to be most likely uh, captured with the <laughs> New Jersey goes down early. Oof. All right, rough start there. Now, but the destroyer is very valuable because of the, the ability to potentially capture the bases. Uh, so we're trying to keep an eye out for him. Haven't noticed him, right? Now, early on in the game, when we're trying to suss out where the destroyers are positionally, we want to be paying attention to the caps. And there he is on the map there. If you're paying attention, uh, you see him in the middle of the map, which is all right. We're trying to back up here and get some shots on him and alert the team, of course, for the opportunity to shoot him as well. Uh, but, you know, getting back to my point, early on in the game, say to yourself, okay, is A being contested over there? No, they captured it straight up. Uh, and... Also pay attention to the other ships that are being spotted, right? Usually, unless there's a carry in the game, you're going to get three ships spawning per position. One on the left flank, one on the right flank, one in the mid, right? Those are the three positions generally. And usually they're equally allocated. So early on when we're trying to figure out, okay, where is this destroyer? We want to be paying attention to those type of clues. New Orleans has been freezing the capture of this base, uh, but taking some vicious damage there, and he got flushed out of there. I think the destroyer... Moved into an aggressive position, spotted him. He got flushed and he got whacked. All right, so now we've captured the base here. We got A, we got C. Things are looking pretty good, right? Now they are on A. That's so that's a contested base. We're not generating points there, but we do control it. Uh, this is a little bit concerning here. The battleship, if he rams us, will shove us in the middle, and this ship cannot take shots. So I mean, that was an extremely annoying play there. <laughs> Uh, wasn't too impressed. Wanted to torp him, but I'm like, shit, we got some serious stuff going on here. We need to save these torps for the enemy. Now, don't ram your teammates, guys. Uh, zoom out once in a while. Make sure you don't do that. 
Uh, luckily, he didn't do that there. Akatsuki back on the screen. Now, we're going to be aggressively uh, pursuing him. You guys know my theory. I will trade cruisers for destroyers generally, and certainly in positions like this where we had uh, three cruisers to start, one destroyer. You know, do I necessarily want to rely on my teammates to win the game after I'm gone? No. Uh, history suggests it's not the most reliable play, but I still like to play the game as God intended it. And <laughs> as such, if you if you learn the strategy, I think trading a numerous a numerously held cruiser for a singularly held destroyer is on paper how the game's designed to play. So I like to play it like that, even if the teammates don't necessarily cooperate all the time. That's all good. Uh, no shots on the Akatsuki, kind of lost him. Just rushing the smoke. I want to proxy spot him, but there he squirts out there, and we're close enough to spot him there. And vicious, vicious attack coming here. We got the HE loaded, and the Akatsuki uh, unable to uh, survive there. So we got a vicious takedown there. The team around us is melting, unfortunately. Uh, a moment ago, when the play initiated, the uh, situation was looking pretty good, especially with the expectation that we would remove the destroyer. Uh, which we did do, uh, but unfortunately, uh, the team kind of melting. Now, they're aggressively, you know, pursuing A, or <laughs> they're, they're engaged, the red team's engaged on the A cap side of the map uh, aggressively. That's where a lot of their numbers are. Now, they're not on the base. They're not actively pursuing the capture of the base, which is a bad strategy, of course, um, but as this game will demonstrate, usually... Uh, strategy is irrelevant when uh, game mechanics are involved. Uh, here we got the numbers, right? We got one cruiser, two battleships versus two battleships, and we're just trying to power these guys down, regain, you know, at least uh, some parity in terms of weight, uh, HP weight, and firepower on each side. Uh, but we also want to kill this side here and then defend uh, towards the middle. In fact, it looks like they're positioning and they're going to be able to attack B. So I'm already starting to evaluate the next plays here. We want to get this Kansas off first. He's the lowest. Uh, we don't want these ships to be able to get too close to each other. We did get some torpedo strikes on that uh, Zeitan there. Vicious strike, in fact. And we're already up to 100,000 damage plus. Game not quite halfway over. And Harbin, I don't know how many games I've actually played now. 20, 25. Uh, high damage nasty games abound from the harbin okay now where you run into trouble is situations like this where oh my god we do not have smoke we do not have cover and we will be spotted for the foreseeable future oh and we got uh, a battleship and a nasty plymouth you guys know anything about the plymouth that thing's nasty as well and these ships combined can absolutely wreck us and they do have another battleship just moving into range uh once it gets around that island so we're hoping that our guys uh, the two Kansases who've elected to move into the 10 line, uh, disastrous position for any uh, slow moving battleship, but nevertheless, they've stacked there. That's where they're concentrated. We need them to desperately turn around and then push into the middle of the map. Uh, number one, kill the Plymouth. All right, because this guy, oh, uh, well, they're telling me to back up. Okay, well, I'm saying, yo, move forward, dog. That would be my suggestion. Uh, but we do need them to shoot the Plymouth. Them shooting battleships, that's going to take them a while to kill. Uh, more or less irrelevant from my perspective. Anyway, we're just launching these torps here. Those are not uh, suggested by the aim indicator to be able to hit either of these ships. But if they do aggressively turn towards us, uh, perhaps uh, they would find themselves being zoned by that position. Uh, we're taking a lot of fire here. Of course, all three ships are now uh, looking to sink me. So we're trying to get behind this island here. We do drop spot there. And again, uh, you know... This, this is the type of cruiser where we want uh, spotting from our team, right? So the fact that these battleships are this far out of position is annoying. Uh, we were engaged in, a you know, at least a half a match worth of a big brawl over there. So I understand uh, them playing that side of the map. But one of the key competencies of those really slow battleships, uh, you know, being good at them is being able to anticipate where do I need to be not right now, but five minutes from now, right? If I win this fight, where am I going to need to be? Uh, usually late in the match, you want the battleships in the middle of the map, right? And the fact that we have them now pushing B, that's an issue. Okay, because we do have the scoring lead, right? We did have the three cap to one advantage uh, for certain parts of the map or the match. But, uh, you know, it's very likely that they will begin to win fights. 
because look at the Plymouth compared to my health equal. Uh, the other two battleships, I think they have more HP over there uh, compared to ours. The Flanders is already in a refueling position right now where he effectively can't be sunk because of the Plymouth's uh, proximity. The other battleship desperate uh, to also get clumped up uh, just to achieve invincibility, which of course he will do later. I want you to begin to pay attention to the damage that we're going to do. I think when the Plymouth dies, uh, which will be a moment from now, we're going to be at about 150,000 damage. Uh, we'll have to see how we get that uh, Plymouth dead and if, in fact, we are the ones to kill him. But here we go. We got the uh, multiple side attack of these deep water torps, right? We fling the right side torps there, and we're going to flip around like fish, do the same thing. We got the range boosted. And we got everything about these torpedoes that the Shout Quan uh, build allows. Slot 2, Slot 4, we're enhancing those torpedoes. And here, this is a good opportunity for us where we're getting some spotting from these guys. And this is ideally what we want to do. We got smoke cover down there. And we could potentially also use the islands. Now we keep resetting the Flander here. Uh, the Plymouth will capture the base. I'm hoping to be able to blind fire him there. And you can see I'm kind of watching for the trailers. Trying to come around here. And then I noticed, okay, he's actually in the smoke. So we're going to just take a shot there. Uh, if we hit him, we can reset that base. If not, then we're going to be at a disadvantage. Uh, three caps to one, which is, of course, going to force the play. Now, Deepwater Torp's coming here with the Flander. Uh, first set doesn't look like it's on uh, target, but we will attempt to get more launches. We did use the Reload Booster. Uh, to get another salvo, but the angle that was present was not uh, favorable, so we hold on to it despite using the booster earlier. And we're just going to get him down, right? We're expecting four launches of uh, three each, uh, assuming we can flip the ship around, which is what we're going to do here. And that's quite deadly. And boom! There goes the uh, the Plymouth in a Higgins situation. We did get him in the smoke. And this is at the point in the match where I'm like, yes, okay, we can actually win this game. Uh, which hasn't been looking that good for us for a while. Uh, but unfortunately, the Flander and the Alabama, you can see, again, I said we got about 150,000 damage at this point in time. We will kill, or we will add an, a full health Alabama's worth of damage to the situation where you can see the Alabama currently is 10 to 15,000. The Flander is about 20, 25,000. Uh, so if I'm able to do the math, that's about 40,000 there. Uh, this Kansas isn't long for the uh, world here, but I'm doing everything possible. And the, it's very, very hard to win a uh, long shot. You know, I'm going to kill multiple opponent type situations in this game. It's very, it's not designed to do that. All right. And this is about as close as I can really do. And in fact, if one of these guys happened to be dumb enough to not put Will to rebuild on his build, we actually would uh, win this game. All right. And this is where the will to rebuild rant comes into play, right? Because I'm a, this is about as good as I can play here. This is about as good as a game as I can play. I've gotten, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 at most, uh, 4,000 type damage games in my long multiple year career playing this game. And I'm just telling you, this is about as good as I personally can play. You might be watching this saying, this guy sucks. Uh, good for you. You might be outstanding in that point. In, in that case, I'd love to see you play. Um, but I cannot win this because these guys chose, they made a decision that uh, they had the opportunity to make before the game started, right? As long as these guys are smart enough to be within a square of each other and they are smart enough to say, Will to rebuild, that's my perk in Legendary Slot, and they leveled up sufficiently uh, where they can get this range and they can get this invincibility going. Even being in a vicious, vicious ship like the Harbin, and we will get more torpedo strikes, by the way, and we will get a lot more uh, gun damage as well. I cannot kill these guys, right? I cannot do it. And no offense to them, no uh, super ego boost to me. I'm just straight up out playing these guys. But I'm in a ship where... At any point in time, they can one-shot me. It doesn't matter if I have 26,000.5 uh, health or if I have 1,000 health left. At, if they hit me right, they'll kill me, right? This is not a fair fight. 2v1, not a fair fight. And yet, I'm sufficiently outplaying them where prior to legendary uh, skill perks being introduced into the game, this would actually be a win, all right? That's the situation I'm faced with. And, in fact, I cannot win because I cannot damage these guys fast enough to... Uh, 
outmaneuver their commander choice, right? You can see more torpedo strikes going there. And even at this point in time, I'm like, God, man, I, if I kill him with those torps and I can just burn this son of a bitch, I could still maybe do this. But no, they're so smart, they just stay by each other and they cannot be sunk. So Bill, the guy who came up with this idea, whatever his actual name is, complete dumbass. Uh, but my problem here is this has been acknowledged for about nine months now. They're saying, okay, we're going to fix this problem. Where's the goddamn fix? This is so fucking stupid. Like, this is actually fucking stupid, and I don't like playing this shit. Uh, get this shit out of the game, right? Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm right. Uh, but let's start pressuring Wargaming, because in the past, we've done it two or three times where we kind of put our finger on the scales and said, let's get on Reddit, let's get on uh, Facebook and all this other shit pressure them they do respond in those situations let's do it end the will to rebuild right now in 2023 let's get it done that's a look at the harbin for you guys hope you did enjoy it if you did please hit the thumbs up new to the channel consider subscribing questions comments link below love to hear from me and we'll see you all later all right peace